evening. Graham Rawlins with our midweek edition of News Geelong. The bagpipes were in their glory at the annual Geelong Highland Gathering last Sunday. While out at Deakin University, Geelong again displayed its strength as a community citizen at the annual Relay for Life. And from the world of Geelong sport, Mitch Scoop Cleary updates us with the latest, including a special interview with newly appointed Ballerine Football Interleague coach John Fitzgerald. While from the weather world, we'll update you on the Geelong and Surf Coast area weather forecast expected over the next six days. Just half an hour from Geelong and an hour from Melbourne, the Golden Plains Arts Trail offers you a memorable experience while touring through the picturesque landscapes of Golden Plains. Ian Nichols has more. This is the Clyde Park Vineyard on the Midland Highway between Bannockburn and Lethbridge. It's just one of the venues that will be open this weekend for the Golden Plains Arts Trail, right here on the edge of the beautiful Moorable Valley. And we're talking with the uh, chairperson of this event, Lynn Dixon. On our Arts Trail we have all sorts of uh, the different facets of artwork. We've got sculptors, we've got painters, we've got textile workers, the whole range. Um, and once again, as you said, we've got people here at Clyde Park at the winery, which makes it really encompassing, all encompassing. Yeah. Well, I believe in total there's more than 30 properties that people can visit on the weekend between Geelong and Ballarat, whether it be along the Midland Highway or the Hamilton Highway, and it covers a lot of ground, doesn't it? It certainly does, and that's one of the reasons we have it over two days, to allow people to you know, participate at both ends because it's impossible to do it all in one day. Well, it would be, and with so many venues, and those venues can be from a wine reel such as this at Clyde Park to a church hall to perhaps just a little artist studio. Yes, a lot of private studios open and special features uh, like at the halls. Um, we've got textiles as a special feature this year. Um, and once again, yeah, it's all encompassing. Now there's obviously a program you're clutching in your hot little hand there. Where can people get that sort of information from in advance? Well most of the um, tourist information places, a lot of galleries have, have the brochure but they can also go to our website which is www.artstrail.com.au and unload the map and the brochure from there and get all their information. I've seen a pig on a spit but to see one in a pizza oven is quite unique. It is a little bit unique. We're uh Wood fire oven, wood, in the wood fire today cooking uh, six suckling pigs um, which is uh, this evening we've got a, a sold out function with the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival. So we have uh, full house tonight, around 100 people and uh, the Western Plains pork which it is, which is you know, very regional produce, um, is one of the four dishes on the menu tonight. One of the, there's five courses and this is one of the, one of the five courses tonight. So what uh, we're doing at the moment is just uh, it's on a very hot oven at the moment, about 300 degrees Celsius, so we're just uh, colouring the outside of the meat, getting a little bit of rind work going, and then um, we'll drop the temperature in the oven to about 180, and then we'll just let it do its thing slowly, wood fire, slow cook, for about four or five hours this afternoon. At Clyde Park Winery, this is Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Ian. The annual Geelong Highland Gathering was again another outstanding success with brilliant weather and the swirl of many tartans setting the scene that brings a tear to many a Scottish eye. Merrill Friend reports. We're here at the Geelong Showgrounds for the 55th annual Highland Gathering. I'm joined here with Constable T Bear. Now Constable T Bear, have you got any Scottish descent in you? Yes, he does. That's yeah. why he's here. <laughs> And a kilt. Oh, we'd like to see that. <laughs> a wonderful event for all the family. Uh, as chieftain, of course, for 55 years, but I've been uh, been coming to the games for at least 40 years, and uh, I've been chieftain for about 10 years altogether. Yeah. Can you tell our viewers what the chieftain does? 
Well, I'm sorry you should ask that because uh, he mainly just looks important. He doesn't do a great deal of work, but he's a sort of the, the figurehead of the games and uh, he, he makes sure when the dignitaries arrive to the games that he looks after them and makes sure they're OK. But it's just a role of just sort of keeping an eye on things and not doing much at all. Indeed, 55th successful year that this has been held in Geelong, but in fact the first Highland gathering was held in 1857. So, uh, yeah, great to see another beautiful day for it. They always seem to manage a beautiful day for it. Um, and there seems to be bigger crowds here this year than there were even last year, so great to see. Is there a highlight at these for you? Oh, look, I... I actually come from a Scottish background. My, my grandfather is from Can Clan Campbell, so uh, I always come along and have a look. But uh, this will be the first time that I'm actually here to, um, you know, be part of the official party. So that'll be a bit of a kick for me. It brings together um, people from all over uh, Victoria of Scottish descent, and you can share in all the uh, activities and everything here. And it's fantastic. And it's also uh, next week being Cultural Diversity Week, so it's always good to. For people, for people of Scottish descent to be celebrating their, their cultural heritage and for others who are not of Scottish descent such as myself to come along and enjoy their heritage as well. Well Geelong residents seem to be able to celebrate every culture don't they when we had St Patrick's Day yesterday? Yes, yes, so that's always, so we've had the Irish yesterday, the Scottish today, so it's been very good, but that's the whole idea of uh, cultural diversity, to be able to celebrate your, what makes you, what makes us different actually makes us the same in, in many senses, although we might have different, slightly different customs, languages, um, basically we're, we're all the same. From the Geelong showgrounds at the Highland Gathering, Merrill Friend and Constable T Bear for News Geelong. Thank you Merrill. as we go to a break on this midweek edition of News Geelong, don't forget you can Twitter us on our Twitter account at NewsGeelong31 with your thoughts and comments. We'll return with more news after this.